All right, Kenman here, and today we have a nice little overview and first impressions of an interesting Kaiser neck knife. Uh, this one has been provided to me from a good friend of mine. Uh, he was watching the live the other night, and we were talking about fixed blades, and he got inspired, went to Kaiser, and found this. I do have a link, an affiliate link to Kaiser. If you go to that link down below and you make a purchase, it does help support the channel. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, he went and picked this up. And then when I saw him, he had got it in and said he wanted me to check it out, uh, give my impressions on it. Here we are. Before we start, I am not usually sponsored by anyone. I usually purchase everything at retail price. I do these videos because I love discussing knives and sharing info and ideas with others. If you have any questions or thoughts, please feel free to comment below. Like I said, I say usually because I did not purchase this. This is not mine to keep. Uh, my friend picked this up and just wanted me to kind of check it out, share it with all of you, kind of give a little review on it, kind of use it a little bit, and uh, enjoy it for a few days. Okay, this is the Kaiser Variable with the Warncliffe blade. It uh, has another version that has more of a, a hawkbill, kind of a hookbill blade to it. But this one we're looking at the Warncliffe. So the Kaiser Variable. We've got a 154 cm blade. Got that little mark right there. It's got the Kaiser on there. It is a full tang, one piece of uh, 154 cm that goes all the way to the end and fills the entire handle. <clears throat> Excuse me. That handle has a carbon fiber chunk on both sides, a really nice little decorative piece of carbon fiber, really thick contoured as well. You can see it's got that little curve to it. Gives it a nice feel, kind of a diamond shape. So this is an interesting fixed blade. It's a neck knife, like I said, but it's obviously small. It barely has a handle. So I initially first grabbed it, put it in my hand right here, and squeeze down it does feel really nice like that but then Ken not me Kenman Ken said ooh stick your finger do the go full Monty on that thing but uh get it all the way in there like that right and then squeeze it around and when I push with my finger it kind of locks it in this space and then it creates this line along your hand that is just straight with it so if you're in there and you want to make those cuts it's very solid it's just there's no play whatsoever it's just you locked it in when you're holding it like that when you have it up here it feels nice it's going to work just fine but it, i feel like it's not really it, there's a little bit of room for some movement versus in here it's like it gets kind of locked into this position and it feels great but again we got a knife you uh, hold it how it feels comfortable for you. Maybe you won't even use that finger hole. Maybe you'll use your middle finger and hold it like this. Kind of a modified pinch grip almost. Actually, that feels good. You could go in if you were doing some real controlled tight cuts. I actually like that. And it's got this end here. You can get your finger right on there and kind of just tuck it in your hand like that. And I could make a nice draw cut. What does everybody think about knives like this? You enjoy them? Hit that like button. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. So variable Warncliffe labeled with the little maker's mark on that side. See it's been used a little bit. I don't know. I think this is kind of cool. I'm not real big on neck knives, but I am a knife collector. And I do have a few neck knives that we're going to look at in a second here. But um, this one is interesting. Kaiser makes some quality stuff. As you know, I love my Kaisers. But yeah, let's have this on your neck. Just a real easy in, grab that thing. Um, he also said that you, he had it in his pocket. And if you got it in your pocket, you can kind of just reach in and push with your thumb right there and get that thing out. Um, so I don't know, maybe have making a little modified clip or something, you could have it sit and actually carry it in your pocket if you wanted to versus if you don't prefer the neck knife uh, option. Huh. 
it's so small I can just get in here real tight. Okay, let's zoom in here, get some measurements. We are looking at four and three quarters tip to tip. Um, where do you end the blade? Here or here where the handle starts? I guess if that hole wasn't there, you could say it's almost three and a half, three and three eighths from there to where the handle starts. If you just go to where the hole is, that's about two and an eighth. Cutting surface is just shy of two and a half, but longer than two and three eighths for sure. Um, and it's a nice, just straight cutting surface right there. That little handle nub is one and three eighths in the center, down to seven eighths on these points. Okay, pick this thing up. Let's check out this blade thickness. Point one. Most uh, mid-size EDC type knives run around 11, maybe 12, 10 to 12. So this is a little, it runs on the thin side. Not bad. So that thickest spot right up here by where the handle is, is point one. Okay. Oh wait, maybe I should do the handle as well. Half inch thick is this, is it common? Oh boy. Sorry. So even right at, right at this middle section, it's right about half inch there. So that's a kind of a standard size for most common uh, EDC, kind of mid to closer to full size knives. Uh, all right. Obviously, it's not going to be too heavy. It's a neck knife. 1.96. Um, I have a few other neck knives. I said I'm going to show them off here. Um, just get the weights really quick. This is less than one. And then the CRKT is 1.5. So we can remember the CRKT is close to that. And this is about half of that. Okay, okay. 1.94. I do a comparison on everything with the Pyrite 3.67. I think it's a real common popular EDC carry um, that everyone generally will either have in their collection or they have a knife that is exactly the same size as it. It's that real consistent. Um, <laughs> so weird when it's bigger and it's <laughs> it's about almost the size of the handle. Let's close it up for a second here. But yeah, the Pyrite comes in a lot of different versions and varieties and styles. Versions. Um, if you don't have one, you're looking for a nice uh, daily carry type uh, folding knife. Uh, it's fidgety with the button lock. Wow. That's my problem today. But it flicks out real easy and then that button is really nice. And then this thing is just barely, you know, maybe a quarter inch longer than the entire length of the Pyrite blade is actually almost the same size. Most of it goes into the blade. If I line it up there, it's just a little bit. The Kaiser's just a little bit longer, but the cutting surface on the Pyrite has it beat. They both end in that spot, so we line those up. You can see there's about a quarter inch more cutting surface on that Pyrite. Completely different style of knife. I do have the CRKT Minimalist. This is another neck knife style. It's got that same kind of sheath that would be used uh, right around the neck. It also has a clip for your belt. But a uh, nice little offering from CRKT. If you have one of those, they're fairly popular. Um, you can see it's a little bit longer. But it does have a more of a handle. That might be something some people might be interested in. You've got about that same blade. Uh, size but now you've got this grip that you can really get in there and then that lanyard becomes this lengthening tool that makes the knife really easy to control and hang on to might be a good option to check out if you're interested in this style of knife um, another one I'm gonna zoom out just a little pal 
Another one that I've got is this Baltic Blades Angus. This is considered to be like a scalpel, kind of a fixed blade, smaller scalpel style blade. Uh, this easily could also be considered a neck knife since of the size that it is and it is very light. It doesn't have, really have a lane or anything on there, but that would be basically considered kind of a neck style knife. Same kind of removal, those Kydex sheaths. Uh, the lanyard uh, ball at the end helps that same kind of a situation where it's smaller, but it gives you that little extension that locks it in. This is a really nice option, too, if you're looking for something that's handmade. These are both kind of more on that budget. This is around $30, $40, and this one's around $55, $60. Baltic Blades is a handmade um uh, these are closer to 130 150 I think. Um, but very nice craftsmanship for sure. Definitely an interesting uh, type of knife in the knife world. Comment below. Is this uh, are these something that you are interested in? You have neck knives, got a collection of them. How many do you have? Which ones should I look at in the future? Um, it's not something I usually carry around too much. They are interesting, and because I'm a knife collector, I obviously have a couple offerings. Um, trying to think of what else. There's a jimps on there that are really nice. Your thumb sits on those. It locks it in really good. Feels really nice. As far as a smaller knife for doing some work and just having something that's kind of discreet or doesn't take up too much space or weight, this might be a really good uh, option for someone. Plus, it's made. It's Kaiser. Kaiser does some quality, 154 CM is a great steel. Should stay nice and sharp and last for you. It's got that coating on there to help protect it. Not a big carbon fiber fan, but that little nub handle does feel really nice. What do we think? I uh, do have the Kaiser Groom. This one I wouldn't really consider to be a neck knife. It's a little bit bigger, but it did get me kind of interested in these smaller EDC fixed blades. Check out the video for it up there. But uh, I do have that uh, affiliate link to Kaiser if you want to use that. It does help out the channel. But um, neck knives, small fixed blades like this Groom, really fun. Check it out. It does feel really nice if you're looking for something a little bit bigger than the neck knife. Try that. Otherwise, boom. Kaiser Variable Warncliffe. Stay sharp. See you soon.